Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Brian, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. <laughs> and I'm Michael, and I make Christmas movies. And, and this, this is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. <laughs> Brandon and friends host this podcast. <laughs> Hope you like this jolly podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a week it's been. Uh, can, I, uh, can I tell you what I like? Tell me. Is uh, Brian has been remote all week this week? Yes. Protesting the studio in general. Yes. Uh, That's right. And uh, his commitment to still saying yes. The Deck to Hallmark podcast and Merry Christmas, even though he knows he's on a delay yeah, yeah, and yeah. it will not sound great, no, is terrible. next level. I, I just, yeah. Brian, I just yep. can't tell you how much I appreciate you making us sound bad. Thank you. I don't want to, I don't want to give you any ammunition on not paying for my attendance, so I am participating fully. So you think you getting paid is based solely on whether or not you say this is the Deck to Hallmark podcast? I, I fear if I don't say Merry Christmas at the end, yeah. it's it's like I wasn't even here. Aaron is Aaron is taking notes. Yeah, I can neither fair. confirm yeah, nor fair. deny. That is right. Um, Michael Rady's in the house. Michael, hello. Merry Christmas. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. This is I just it's always so funny to hear Dan say he despises Christmas. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. This is um a bit of a tradition we have going on. That is, here. you're right. It is. Hey, you guys, I know I know times are tight and resources are limited, but I appreciate you um pulling everything together, what, uh, everything it took to, to get, to make my quote and to, uh, <laughs> yeah. my feet. I, um, my dog chewed one of the seats in our plane the other day and the, the upholstery is <laughs> oh. almost destroyed. So this is going to go, I honestly, full disclosure, I won't even see the check. It goes right into that. <laughs> That's fair. Right into that. So thank you. Well, well to be fair, I don't know how any, any of it gets past your lawyers. They're sharks, man. I don't know what you pay. Yeah. It's not enough. What, it's listen, not enough. what's a few million between friends? <laughs> that's right. Honestly, I just want you to know this was an easy yes. Easy. So easy, easy that's yes. going to be, look, I bet January 15th, it's going to be dialed in. <laughs> and uh, you. I will think of you every time I sit on it. And my dog, too. <laughs> Um, I got a, a little, I got to uh, ask you, this is year number two in a row without seeing your face on my screen at Christmas time. Yeah. And I don't, and I Christmas don't really Bo know was the last one. Yeah, right? Christmas bow. Thank you for Christmas doing Bo. that. Cause we wouldn't have known. The no, vibe. No, no. <laughs> you would not have been familiar. You'd have been like a bow and arrow. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow, I thought he was mispronouncing it, but then I saw him do that's the, right. I yeah. thought it was a sailing movie, the great sailing movie. That's right. And then I saw him do that. And I said, Oh no, it's definitely <laughs> it's a bow thing. Yeah. So what gives, what gives, where do you get off? Where do you Michael get off Brady? just ruining Christmas for everybody? Oh, that's very sweet of you. I, uh, yeah, it, it's, um, I felt the absence. I missed it. I, I, I do really enjoy, um, doing, doing Christmas movies every year. Honestly, I was, well, I was, I was doing some other stuff, so it just, uh, schedules didn't quite work out, but, um, yeah, it's funny. I, I usually feel this pressure every, every, every year I do the Christmas movie. And so you do the Christmas montage, you go to a Christmas festival, you shoot a Christmas festival scene, you like have a hot chocolate race and like all these things. And so I bring like, I get home to my, my life and family and it's like, what are we doing? Oh, we, you know, I just like, it, it, it's created this monster in the world of like Christmas to do lists and, and traditions and I had two years where I was like, okay, wait, we don't have to like have a marshmallow stacking contest. We don't have to like do like, you know, I, all. The- I'm intrigued by hot chocolate race. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I've seen that one yet. If you uh, hold it in a mug. Down a giant track and whoever's mug can make it. To wow. The wow. The actual hot chocolate is racing. I didn't I see, didn't that, see that coming either. Was Obo- I thought it was, was going to be. Bow situation. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like an egg situation on a, <laughs> on a but no. No, that's wow. dangerous. You wouldn't carry around a hot chocolate. So like, everyone so has to make a uh, something for the hot chocolate to sit in that goes <laughs> yeah, down a track. Yeah, it, it can take a month to prepare for that one. Yeah. Yeah, and I will say this: if you're watching on Philo, Philo.tv slash DTH, you right. would see that I did the bow for Christmas bow. Michael did the race for hot chocolate race. Like yeah, I could see the slope. Like I could see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The great you're dealing with it's steep, and so yeah. you have the right mug selection. It's all about yeah. 
aerodynamics. It's all about friction. It's, yeah, it's a whole. It's just not fun. It's, honestly, that's right. <laughs> it takes a lot, the hot chocolate race takes all the fun out of Christmas. I said it for years. Your Christmas tradition. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. That's the war on Christmas, right there. Um, but really quickly before we move into the next thing, will we see you on our television screens next year? on a Hallmark channel. Are we allowed, can you confirm or deny this? You know, I can't, I can't, I, they asked me not. To. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, I did do, a, I did do a Hallmark movie. I just, uh, they don't want me saying which one yet. Okay. Yeah, they don't want you to say yeah, that you did one. Uh, it's the new murder one <laughs> yeah. where, you, where you just go, you're on a killing you're spree, right? Nuts. <laughs> it, yeah, it's called, it's called, yeah, it's called Death Day. It's all, an all new Hallmark original, Death Day. It's like a celebration of death. It's whole, very, very celebration like, of death. N- nihilistic, like he reads a lot of Nietzsche in it. It's, mm-hmm. it's yeah. going to be unbelievable. It's new Hallmark, yeah. everybody. It's a special thing, so. Yeah. New Hallmark. Yeah. Michael, what's your philosophy on coffee? I see you're drinking water right now. It's still relatively early. Do you have a philosophy on coffee? Are you a coffee-free person? Do I use caffeine? It sounds like you're asking. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Do I use the caffeine molecule? I do. I've had a cup. I've had a cup of coffee this morning, okay. Okay. but uh, I, don't, I, I only need that right now. I, um, you know, I've got four little ones, uh, and so and the, the youngest is is uh, one and a half, and so. <laughs> I need, I need caffeine right now. I need to use the molecule of caffeine. But if I don't, need, if I'm not needing it, if once she gets a little older and our sleep isn't, we don't have toxic sleep deprivation, then I won't use as much probably if I don't need it. I, okay. But it's delicious coffee. Mm. I, um, I just, I talk to actors and they're all like, man, like matcha, <laughs> like, man, like we don't, we cut back. And I'm talking about you, Andrew Walker. And I, I noticed the act, the, 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 the impression you were doing. Thank too. you. Like, thank yeah. you. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Man. But, man. but I, <laughs> But you're not an L.A. fella, so I didn't know if you, I, I assume. But he's they don't, probably eating. Here's the thing is Michael Rady is probably actually doing the thing that the L.A. actors, like the L.A. act, not Andrew Walker, but a lot of L.A. actors talk this healthy game that we'll go out to eat with them, and it is like a different world when the, <laughs> when the drinks start coming. Whereas I believe Michael is probably actually walking the walk of what it means to have be clean living. Like that would be my guess anyway. Hey, you know, I think, I think, I think we all have, you know, bars that we, we try to, uh, I have a bar I set for myself and I often fall below that, but I, I know what clean looks like for me and I know when I'm not clean. So I'm aware even when I'm, when I'm breaking it. Um, yeah. but yeah, I try to, I try to keep it clean. I, uh, water endorse. I'm actually, I, I endorse, I do a whole like paid thing for water. Um, <laughs> wow. Wow. It's big. Yeah. Congratulations. It's a big gift for water. It's a I, big gift I for am water. worried about your soul getting into bed with big water, but <laughs> yeah, I honestly hesitate to even mention it here just in case there's, cause it, it's a whole, like, I know there's a whole cons- world of conspiracy theories right. out there, about it. but uh, I did, you know, honestly, I'm trying to get this upholstery fixed. So I said, you know, I'll, I'll bring some of your stuff on the, the podcast yeah, man. Well, wait so is it gonna take the water money and our money what kind of upholstery are we talking what? is this like good they kill the cow <laughs> it's it's ridiculous the volume of this seat it's not a small point um and so the chairs are quite large um and it's embarrassing i i hate, hate you <laughs> yeah you hate yeah. talking about it yeah i know it's, it's so embarrassing for you i can tell <laughs> you guys did the hot chocolate race in the plane didn't you you did the hot <laughs> <laughs> you sent them right down the slope of that jet that's on oh, you yeah. michael yeah <laughs> You sure um, did. Yeah, speaking of AWOC, we, I met him for the first time. What a Andrew guy. Walker. I met him two weeks ago. We were all in Vancouver. Everyone was up there working on something. Me, Benjamin, Nikki Deloach, Chris uh, Palaha. Yep. Nikki was like, wait, all of my, my favorite people are in town. We're all having dinner. And so we went out to this little hole in the wall joint, this, this like famous, famous noodle restaurant. And um, we had this great dinner. And there was a, the restaurant was like this. It was this. It was. I mean, a little bit bigger than, I don't know, a closet. It was a, t- a tiny, tiny restaurant. And we took up almost half of it. But one of the other tables sitting in there, they were huge Hallmark fans. Oh, my <laughs> God. So oh, boy. They, were, they, their head, they couldn't process what was happening. Yeah. yeah. And it's so like we, we, the Avengers assembled <laughs> in a noodle restaurant in Vancouver. Is that, is that Hawkeye? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's all of them. That's They're all, all there. They're all there. Yeah. <laughs> And so we gave them the full treat. Yeah. It, was, it was really fun. It well, really Andrew, fun. Chris, Nikki are all, you know, they've been around for five years with us. They are the dearest of yeah. friends. So they're the best. It was immediate. We were immediate fast friends, as, as I'm sure you can well imagine. They yes. are, they oh, are yeah. wonderful people. 
but a walk. I land. I got home last on Sunday night, uh, being home gone for many many uh, weeks, and um, there was a big box of juice from uh, a Little West juice from Andrew, oh, uh, nourishing my family here while I'm gone. So what um, a guy! What a guy! Yeah. Little West juice. We did get that plug in. That's really yeah. Good. Little I'm West juice. Good. good. Do we need to uh, do it again? No, that's like, perfect. Yeah. That's good. That's a winner. That's a winner. We did it. Nice job. <laughs> so who gives? Who's giving you the most money? Is it Water Us Little <laughs> West? What, can you rank it? Bless you guys. No, you guys. You guys are adorable. For uh, for yeah, so I not love, us. I love what you pulled together. The water, obviously. <laughs> water. <laughs> we can't compete with water. <laughs> They, and they're, they're so like they're multi. It's a like, massive. I mean, it's almost global. It's we almost were, global. We almost. were so confident in the number we slid across the table, <laughs> and Michael's lawyer did a spit take with water and said, "That's going to cost me." Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so bad what you guys had to deal with with my whole. Career. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Do we want to talk about Twas the Night Before Christmas? Since we're here, I guess we might have. We might should. Yeah. A movie that we watched. Um, it originally aired on, what was that, December 18th, 17th? 17th uh, let's go with the 17th, December 17th. And it went a little, in case you didn't watch it on Philo TV, which you should be watching it, it's the, it's the best platform. Uh, <laughs> what's the night before Christmas? It went a little something <laughs> like this. Uh, the movie kicks off with someone reading Twas the Night Before Christmas. I'm starting to realize that my autocorrect autocorrected every single time twas to the name Tess. <laughs> Tess the night before Christmas. Tess yes. the night before There's Christmas. There's a comma there. Tess. Classic Tess. The night before Christmas. Uh, Tess. Um, and we're uh, in a town, uh, Troy. Uh, is it Troy? Yeah, Troy. Uh, New York. And uh, everyone's dressed in Victorian garb. And uh, they're all going like, hey, we love this. This is amazing. Twas the night before Christmas. They're going to be putting on a play where two people argue who really wrote Twas the Night Before Christmas. There's a woman. Her name is Madison. She is in town to direct this play. She was an actor who uh, was had a big uh, like hit when she was younger. Now she wants to focus on directing. Uh, she cast her uh, an older co-star of hers, a hunk named Connor. Unfortunately for everybody, she also has to cast the producer's girlfriend, Lena, who is awful. The producer is also throwing in new ideas like trying to sway the jury and romance and whatnot. Uh, Madison meets a guy in Victorian garb and decides to cast him as the ghost of or av as the person I don't know he's one of the guys that's <laughs> maybe wrote it and so uh, she's having a hard time writing new parts and she ends up baking with Connor doing a a hot chocolate race wow um, and uh, they're really like I know they're helping like with the romance there's the sparks are flying uh, Lena is really struggling with her lines and overall life and so madison helps her with the good old-fashioned gingerbread house technique if you just focus on building a gingerbread house you can remember all your lines michael's laughing and uh, i don't know why to we're gonna get to it michael you just keep it together <laughs> i don't know why we will get there this we is, will get there this is a a, a a trade trick when i did shakespeare in the park i built so many gingerbread, so many houses. gingerbread houses go ahead okay so, uh, yeah, it, that's, that happened. Uh, apparently, um, she's now an amazing actor. Madison and Connor uh, continue to hang out. Sparks continue to fly. We're all better for it. The producer of the play tells Madison that there's a hotshot Broadway producer that might be coming to the show because it might be something that they might be interested in making a full Broadway situation. Saw them live. Uh, so this is very exciting to Madison until she shows up to rehearse and the hotshot producer is there, wants to watch the rehearsal as you do. So everyone's freaking out. They go to the rehearsal. Of course, Lena's doing the gingerbread technique. It's coming in clutch. And um, But they get to the point where they have to bring out the ghosts, and the ghost is nowhere to be found until the ghost comes in via smoke, as a ghost would. <laughs> Brings in quite the argument. Another ghost shows up. Man, twas the night before Christmas. This show is gonna be awesome. The rehearsal's great. Madison and Connor have a snuggle session on the couch, which doesn't even give us an almost kiss. It's more of a almost want to kiss, but we end up snuggling because that's where we are in life. 
Um, it's very sweet. They're getting very close. Um, it's time for the big performance, or close to the big performance, and Laura, uh, Lena, Lara, whatever her name is, drops a bomb. <laughs> Laura Apparently, Lara. her boyfriend recorded some of the rehearsal, sent it to a director friend who said, I think she's doing the gingerbread technique, and if that's the case, I want her now on set. She did the gingerbread technique? She did the technique? gingerbread technique. Oh, my gosh. So now who's she going to use as the lead? Well, it's obvious to everybody except for her that it's going to be Madison. Start baking those gingerbreads. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, so it's time for the big show. Connor and Madison are crushing it. They're throwing in some flirty flirt flirts, and the crowd is eating it up. But then it's time to bring on the ghosts. But only the ghost of uh, 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 the, the Moore guy, the guy who's... The bald-headed older one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But they make do. Madison learns a lesson via ghost in performance, and they crush the rest of the show, and they kiss. The hot shot Broadway lady shows up for the performance and says, I got to see more of this. Uh, and Madison and Connor go outside. They kiss some more, and the ghost, I don't know, hang out. And that, my friend, was Twas, Twas the, the Night, night Before, before Christmas. Christmas. We did it. We did do it. We're going to take a quick break, build a gingerbread house, and we'll come back, break this movie down even more here on Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. Thank you. I, Brian almost didn't say it. I know we have things to do. Brian did not say the name of the movie, uh, no, which no, I right. do want that noted uh, oh, for the no. record. Doc it. Write down. Aaron, write that down. Aaron, write do it down. Write that down. That's right. Doc that pay. Send it straight to Rady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer to donate it to the, to to the, the cause. To the cause. That's exactly that's right. right. Uh, twas, twas the night before Christmas. Let's break it down. Let's start with the hot take. Brian, I will start with you. Contractually, we have to. What do you <laughs> think of Twas the night before Christmas? I was I was all in on this very early on. And I got this sense while I was watching it, since I was so in on the whole idea and the way they were sort of like not revisit, you know, we're revisiting history, debating history, using it as a, a, a an example or a case for um, not rewriting history, but just playing around with it. I got the feeling Dan would hate it. And <laughs> that told me that felt like it, it let me know I'm on the right track here with liking this movie and that this is really, really great. <laughs> Uh, it felt a lot of the stuff about like working on stage, working in a theater, putting a play together, putting a production together felt like really representative of things that would come up and would happen. Um, gingerbread technique aside, but I, I'm sure there are elements of that that are helpful in real life. But this, wow, my what mind a was limb blown you're going I, out on right yeah, now. That this is representative. You have an actor here, yes. and you're saying that this is representative yes. of how things like this are made. I, I feel like, you know, as a dummy on my couch in South Carolina who don't know nothing, it felt like this stuff comes up. You got a producer who's got their fingers in there. They have a lot of say. The director has to abide by that. They're rewriting constantly. They're adjusting the script based on performance performers and what they can do. Uh, so I don't know. A lot of that stuff felt like it would ring true. But this whole thing that they did, is exactly what I was imagining when we watched A Fable Holiday, where you have a real-life scenario, there's a script, everybody has a role, but you throw an unexpected element, like a jury, into the mix, and you don't know the outcome. You don't know what is going to happen. And we called it improv. Fine, we'll <laughs> stick to that. What we, call, But I was all in on this, and double thumbs up from me. Double thumbs, double up, thumbs up from Brian. Wow. Oh my yeah, goodness. Really, really enjoyed wow. this. Film. I don't think we've seen a double thumbs a double up. Double thumbs up. No. That's big. That's I'll big. I'll do it for the for the, the show. Wow. Thank wow. you. Wow. Thanks for doing it. Thank, that's, uh, that's why you Brian's get Brian's never right. looked older. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Speaking of never looking older, I just realized that Michael's name um, uh, for this thing, this platform, is Michael the 80 year old, which is very funny. Uh, we'll kick it to Michael the 80 year old. What did you think of Twas the Night Before Christmas? Wait, yeah, but I, was, I, I labeled that because it took me like 11 hours to figure <laughs> yeah. out. You did a you great look job. Great. You look great, Michael. You do. Never looked Don't better. let Brand down talk you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Guys, excuse me. <laughs> Have I told you about water? <laughs> it looks no, delicious. Okay, so my hot, my hot take. Um, um, I mean, if, if, it felt like I was watching a documentary on on theater. No, no, no. In all honesty, I um, 
<laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I was in from the beginning. I was like saying, okay, okay. Because look, I know what to, I know when I turn a Hallmark Christmas movie on, there's generally, I don't know. This felt like a sci as sci-fi as Hallmark can get. And look, as one who knows how the sausage gets made and sees and, 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 and reads a lot of these, I was, I'm open to the ghost thing. I'm like, yes. Okay. I am here. I will show up and I will go along on this. Um, I thought there was, I thought all across the board, there was terrific acting, which I really, 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 um, that gets me, I, I'm thrilled. If there's someone who I'm like, ah, they didn't, they, they were like wherever the location they shot it, they had to hire someone local and they maybe, ah, I don't know what happened. They, um, so I was thrilled. Like the acting I thought was dynamite across the board. Um, I've worked with Tori before she and I did a movie a hundred years ago. Zane, I have a fun little tie in with Zane. Um, and, uh, yeah, I th yeah, there was a couple pieces of story along the way where, I, of course, where it's like, wait, what? Um, but um, I went along for the ride, and I discovered I, it's really fun to watch these with my wife. Maybe someday I'll make her <laughs> with me. And oh, we'll do yeah. Them. Please um, do that. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll give it a thumb up. I'll give it a thumb up. A One thumb up, thumb up for my I'll wife. Thumb up, yeah. All right. I'm being, I'm being told that we can't afford your wife. That's right. So. That is true. From no, no, no. Yeah, that's a whole conversation. I, I'm yeah. not saying it's definitely going to happen. You know, we'll, let the lawyers, we'll let the lawyers figure that but out. But it would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no. She's she's sponsored by we, Bread. She did the whole Bread thing. Bread sponsor. <laughs> we, um, yeah, bread. that's tough, man. Man, Big Bread is involved. <laughs> I, I don't know. know. I can't. We, uh, we did uh, just fire our producer, Aaron. Yeah. We hired her a week ago, but we've got we've to make ends meet at this point. I don't really mm -hmm. know. Make what, ends water. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a weird movie just a weird movie uh, that's all I was just watching this movie and I'm like this is weird and I don't know maybe it was maybe it was the COVID that I had when I was watching this movie but I didn't like that it was weird you didn't get all the normal Christmas feel staples out of this I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I do want to say I agree with Rady. I really like these two leads, and I thought that they were wonderful together. And had Zane Holt, Zane Holt, Zane Holt had wonderful chemistry. Um, that snuggle session, dynamite. Um, I don't know. I didn't get it. <laughs> I think that's what it comes down to. Is I, I got to the end of this movie, and I'm like, I just don't get it. Why I don't get it as a whole. Yeah. Which feels weird for me. Uh, and so I will blame COVID. Yeah. I'll blame was COVID. It was too smart for me. It Brian. was too smart. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I Well, one, didn't know this was something that we cared about. Um, two, I didn't know that this was something. Aaron was telling me this is something that she has done before where they do this. They argue things in front of a jury at for performance. I didn't know that was a thing. The whole thing to me was just weird. Um <laughs> And so uh, that's all I'll say about it. No, no, not thumbs up for brand. Unfortunately, thumbs up for the performance. Loved both of them. And I'd love to see them again. I love Tori. Um, she's been on the show before. Just delightful, but just weird. Too weird for brand, which is saying something. He didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Yeah. So about halfway through this movie, I just typed on my laptop, what is this movie? <laughs> like, what is it? And the reason I think I typed that is because we will have these jarring transitions into normal Hallmark Christmas movie. So, like, there are, like, spurts of five minutes at a time that happen three or four times in this movie where it's like, let's decorate the tree or let's hot chocolate, uh, get hot chocolate or something like that. And then we will just be thrust completely back into this world where they're putting on a dramatic court case of who wrote Twas the Night Before Christmas. And it feels very personal. Like, it feels like whomever wrote this movie... It feels like it's been bothering them for a lifetime. It feels like it, it lives deep down in their soul. Like, it doesn't <laughs> feel like it's like, what if we did this? It'll be fun. It's like... I have to get this out of me into the world. Like, it's like, you know, John, Lin it's John like Lennon writing the next great hit. Like, I can't sleep it's another like night. It's like the therapist was until, sick of hearing them talk about it. It was like, please, like, write it down. If I don't get this on the page, if this doesn't get made by the Hallmark Channel, like, my life's just not complete. And so it just overrides everything else in the movie. Like, 
it it becomes this you know this this nagging thing that's like we have to tell this grand story except the story isn't grand it's just a like a play that is that has g- ghosts. I-, I will say this. I think that Tori DeVito and Zane Holtz do a gr- good job. Zane Holtz. Zane Holtz. And, and yeah. then I would say one better than them are the two guys that play the ghost. I- I- Rady, I know that you've been on these sets and you're kinder than I am. We can tell when the when three, four, and five on the call sheet are local. Like, that. Sure. that that's real quick for us. We're like, sure. oh, boy, buckle up. They spent all the money on the leads. We got nothing left. We just right. got to hope they don't look directly into the camera. Um, in this, yeah, I know. You're laughing because it's happened. You, There have been takes ruined in your head right now. There have been takes ruined. It happens, man. Sometimes that <laughs> camera's right there. And you got a the camera. There's nothing I'll, you can do. Like, yeah. But these two guys that play Livingston and the other guy, yeah. the, they are like fully committed to the bit. Right? They're yeah. really good. Really good. Mm-hmm. Like, so good that they almost sell this whole thing, uh-huh. which is, so. you know, the problem is, is that there's no world where we can think this is actually happening when they're like, you know, the two actors we played are so method that they only show up when we call their names. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're so method that it's it's like a Beetlejuice situation. Like we literally have to say their name three times for them to appear on set. Um, and then also there's a, there's a, a lot of improv in the in this that doesn't lend itself to them writing a s- script at all. But, like, all of that you just have to leave. And so was it one of the more interesting Hallmark movies I've seen this year? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's very jarring how it switches between, like, hey, this is home. This is comfortable. Here's a tree decorating uh, thing. Here's them going out and getting hot chocolate with cinnamon sticks in it. And then, like, here's a ghost play that's improv but not, and everything hangs in the balance because of a producer and a Broadway person that's in, like, it doesn't like these two things like don't necessarily marry well together, but I wasn't bored and it was more interesting, like a fabled holiday, like that thing's DOA. Like they take a great idea and they just run it straight into the ground, like full boredom. This did not do that. And so I didn't, I still am confused as to how to, how to approach this movie. Yeah. But the, 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 the performances carry it. Like they, yeah. they keep, Float, yeah. don't they? It's I will say this, it. with with lesser talent in here, with a local three and four on the call sheet and with lesser yeah. Hallmark leads, we could have been in for a real slog here. Like yeah. it, it could have been a very disjointed movie. And I do think the leads bring it to where it where it gets to. They were all doing the gingerbread technique to That's a right. T. Yeah. And I think we're all better for it. We all are. There's so much watching this movie. I, I, I can't wait for the wait what section yeah, yeah, yeah. when we get to pepper Michael with acting questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, before we do that, let's get to the feels. Uh what gave us feels while we were watching this movie, Brian? So every time uh, Moore or Livingston Jr. were on screen, I thought that was great. Everybody's mentioned how great they were. I agreed with that. But when they performed the play, they had snow falling in the background and the windows yes, of the courtroom. They sure and did. I, every time I noticed that, it was just like they nailed. They could not have done that better. And that was so nice to see. And uh, that gave me lots of Christmas feels. I thought it was near perfection. Shout out to local theater. The people that are doing the, the, the props in the That's background. Right. Next un- un- Unsung heroes. Mm. We noticed you said it, uh, Michael. Any feels for you? I thought I thought Zane's Zane Zane and Tori's moment on the couch. You you mentioned it in your in your hot take, but that 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 was I thought that was the most dialed in moment of the movie. Um, appropriately butted up against my one of my like wait what yes, uh, but <laughs> that was like I mean I've, I've never seen a a feel with a weight like that right next to each other. But when he looks at her yeah. and he's being right here with you right now, that's like, damn, that was good. Yeah. 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 yeah it's I, a definite wait. What for me, but I'll get, well, well, I think you and I are on the same page there. Yeah. Is everyone okay? <laughs> was that me? I don't know. It was in my ears. That's all I know. Another check from big water. Coming in. <laughs> Yeah, that that's the, the wire. Movie. They play a loud <laughs> high pitch when a wire comes in from one of their big sponsors. I get, I get a notification every time they drop. Wow, that is amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> right, I'm on my wife's laptop right now. And so, yeah, there, there might be more of that. I can't promise. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, 
Oh, Sorry. I hope so. Wow, yeah. it's been a good day so it's a far. Good day for you, buddy. <laughs> Big water coming in clutch. Um, yeah, I'm with I'm with Michael. That scene, I I love a snuggle. I love a snuggle a snuggle sesh. That worked for me. The head on the chest. Yeah, all of that. Real good. Real good. Yeah, the f- this is not. I don't know if this is like heart feels, but the first time they're calling for Livingston and he doesn't show up, and then he just like just gets eschewed in from <laughs> ghost land with like snow and wind and everything. And everyone in the entire place, there's like six people watching are like, it's good effects. Really good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> like that, that was like, I did get a kick out loud. Like, I don't know if they meant for it to be funny. Maybe they did. It was real funny for them to be like, Oh yeah, this is clap. Like we've seen some small local theaters before. And th- these effects are, Pretty good. That's why we hired Jameson. <laughs> He's the right. best in the biz. He's the best in the biz. Look, they're, they're making the most with what they got, for right. sure. That's right. Yeah. Uh, let's take one more quick break. We'll come back with the way one and the what the Hallmark here on deck. The Hallmark. We're back, everybody. Wow. What a wow. wonderful day it's been what so a day. far. What a day, and it's just getting started. It's time for the Wait What. It's where we talk about what and this. What's going on, Brian? Uh, sorry, I actually had a contractor just show up, so I just let him know where to, where to go. But I'm here. So right. was the beeping was the beeping on your end? Nope, no. Nope, you no, were gonna was, just let you were I, gonna let Rady take the fall for it, right. but that beep was on your end. It was not. You know, Rady's <laughs> too rich to have a laptop that would malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. If I even tried to, I could probably send a beep to his laptop without him knowing he couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He gave all the, he gave all the permissions. I watched That's right. He, he gave, gave all the permission. permission. He did. Allow, he gave allow, the allow. allow video, allow microphone, allow beeps. Allow <laughs> notification. So he didn't know what he was saying yes to. I just, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, Brian, what you waiting and what you wanting, buddy? So they were doing, they, they, as much as I love research and you know, I love research, I know that you about doing, research. love research. It seemed like they were doing an awful lot of additional research or really close to when they should have been more prepared to be done researching. <laughs> and I feel like, play, like I'm not going to complain about all the research, but just having it, you know, days before three days before just, their hours, first performance, hours, really yeah. hours. Yeah. So that part, uh, I feel like that could have been spread out a little bit more. And her dad, Josie's dad, um, Zane there, he's on West Coast bedtime when he was speaking to his daughter at one point, which would have been like seven or eight o'clock to be like generous for his daughter. And he at that same time, he was baking cookies where he was on the East Coast. So he was baking around like 10 or 11 o'clock at <laughs> that's night. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Not a great time. How for is 7 baking. p.m. being generous to his daughter? <laughs> you, seven. Did she, she is like six years old. You put your six-year-old oh, yeah, yeah. to bed yeah, at you're seven? Right. Seven or eight, would be, I guess, would be normal. Eight, yeah, eight. Right? So like it's at least 11 o'clock, you would think, yeah, on the, on the right. East Coast. So and if she's staying up later... Which would be more generous. Yeah, that's uh, it's a little late to be baking. Um, and on opening night, this is just a little thing. The opening night, as people are filing into the theater, the that, uh, that, not, that bark, you, dog barking means you got to blend that on ready too. Michael, yeah. Michael, can you shoot your dog away? <laughs> oh, I'm on to you now. Oh, I do not it's trust just you. little puppy Jack over here <laughs> chiming in. Uh, the, the curtains weren't down when they on opening night when all the people are filing and i thought that was weird all right you go ahead and mute yourself well, that buddy was, that, that was a that was like a that was a directorial choice yes. to like really make them feel a part of yeah. it because uh, you, you, you feel the tension you feel the tension yeah that makes sense. Like, oh okay. this is our spot this is our jury box this is where we oh yeah oh yeah yeah, Sorry. when I um, I had to negate something you said after you're like blaming your dog and your all the dings on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Just hit that mute button whenever you're ready, Brian. <laughs> it's good. He's got it. Um, uh, Randy, what you got? My wait, what? Um, you know, right after that incredible moment they had on the couch, where he looks in her eyes and looks at her and says, "Being here with you right now." Um, and like, I think he said, my heart's pounding out of my chest. And yeah. she's like, mine too. <laughs> and, and then my wife and I were, were like, we're waiting. Okay, this is, here we go. And then they just kind of like. I'm just telling you. They lean next to each other and like she puts his head. And <laughs> wait, yeah. I, I think we did. We both said, wait, what? I, I 
Michael. I liked it. The back and forth is this. Uh, she says, tell me something romantic. He says, looking at you right now, yep. I feel like my heart's going to beat out right out of my chest. Oh, she that and she that. says, same. And then they proceed to platonic snuggle on the couch. I got to be honest. I don't know what comes next after that dialogue, but I know it's not what they did. It's not that. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not that. It's not that. It just isn't. There's no. a there's myriad things it could be. It's not that. I can yeah. promise you that right now. I liked it. Yeah. I liked every second of it. I'm, it made me so curious what the dialogue was like, what 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 the, what, what that conversation was on set. Because it'd be like, all right, we, what story are we telling right now? And how do we, is this the best way to tell that? Um, that's what I would have done. I would, I, look, I know it says we... We like sit shoulder to shoulder and, and and think, but is that the best way to tell this story right now? And so I, I wonder what that. I um, think that they were walking the line of she says she doesn't date actors, and so I think they're trying to like uphold that until they just can't like, which I, I just don't think that was a successful attempt. At and you do like you do the you do the lean in and this feels right. You do that, and then sorry, there's a I, knock at the door. There's a dog barking yeah, in Brian's I, house. I, something exactly. There's a ding, a lady getting <laughs> cash from Big Water ding. <laughs> oh, right. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, yeah. And wait, I had another wait what, yep. which is obviously j- the j- <laughs> <laughs> gingerbread <laughs> technique. Um, uh, you guys, you guys, that's why I show up here is, is for the checks and for you guys, the, the way you make me laugh and, and the way you, uh, your hot take and the way you break down the script, the, uh, the movie with the gingerbread technique. Yeah. Um, she got so she I thought she was great. She was a great actor. And um she went from being a really bad actor to being a really quite competent actor in 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 you know one gingerbread. Yeah, in one and gingerbread. I was like I wish my journey was that was that <laughs> streamlined and uh, I wish I had a friend who would teach me uh, the gingerbread technique like that. Tori never mentioned that when I was working. Not with her. a single so, time. It's Tori. unbelievable. I, and I don't fault the actor. I don't fault her <laughs> in that because I think obviously just a script thing. They needed that so, art for her. Um, yeah. I have a legitimate question about the gingerbread technique. I <laughs> understand the idea that if you're concentrating on something else, your right. li- your lines can come more naturally to you. I'm sure some people, as a part of the process, use this as like, can I say these lines just from memory until so I can now get into character? So like her doing something else and saying the lines, yeah. that like makes sense because we like in education you'll use that as a tactic to like a mnemonic device or something to learn with. Um, how does it help her ad lib? <laughs> <laughs> Like, how does, because she asked the, like, while you're building the gingerbread house, remember these lines right. as you're doing it. And then she goes, so how does it help me when somebody goes off script? And the answer Tori DeVito yeah. gives is like calculus. Like, I don't understand what she just said there. I was hoping you could explain it to me, though. Oh, yeah, you can't look for me on that one. I'm just, uh, I'm a humble, new actor and a disciple of the the gingerbread technique so i don't know exactly i know improvisation is very it's a, a close cousin of conversation so maybe there is a a kind of link there but still i it's a uh, i did you, have to rewind it wait a second how how what, what how does what she's what? like when you when you hear someone ad lib think of the walls of this house and remember, like, basically just get it back on script, I guess, is what she was going for. No, it's it's about the character. Like, remember the character of the character. Oh, my gosh. The walls, your integrity, and all. Right, right. So it's like, as long as you know the character, yeah, you'll be able now. to. How do you, yeah. Brady, how do you do it? Christmas tie of gingerbread helps, helps yeah. with that. How do you get your, how do you get, you get your script, Brady. How do you go about lines and character? Like, what's the first step? Do you memorize all the lines first? What do you do first? Oh gosh, no! That's probably the last thing I do. Honestly, it's it's it changes for every project. Wow, this is like a James Lipton inside the actor right. studio. I'm here to help you guys. Um, it's different for everyone. I, I usually read the script a couple times. I I I, I journal a lot and think about uh, character and um, kind of paint paint the background and it, uh, I, I, that's. Um, metaphorically paint the background of this character and what feels right. And you drop pieces in and, um, and, uh, look at, you know, stuff, my personal life and, and things about it, it, 
my character, like personally who Michael Rady is and, and look at that and see where things kind of overlap and cross and, and diverge. And I, this is ridiculous to talk about. No, I love it. We How are you able to, to do interview. all of that while also managing all of your big deals with water? I mean, that's why I have all those lawyers, you guys. So when, I, you're, I, when you're building I'm, a gingerbread, you're just thinking of your character? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is yeah. next level, man. Nah. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's a very effective technique, which is why I was like, oh, wow, I need to rewind and really absorb. That's right. This. For sure. Um, I, I did. She did have a great line where she's like, um, show what what holds these all the pieces together. Uh, sugar, sugar. That was funny. That was a good little line. There. <laughs> sugar. Uh, wait, I feel like there was one more. Oh, it's, OK, we'll go. I think I had another wait. What? But we'll, we'll, we'll cover that later. Oh, yeah. Um, how does a ghost not know that um, if he's getting played with a party in Poughkeepsie at the very end? Yeah. Uh, you're, you're a go like yeah you can go wherever you want i feel like i feel like it shouldn't cool. like oh traffic was bad getting there uh so yeah i think they were playing a little fast sorry more more cash more cash i think they were playing a little fast and loose with the uh with with reality there yeah. you guys um anyway that's that's what i got yeah 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 uh i only, i only have a couple obviously the gingerbread uh, technique is uh is one of them i i'm Still, like, relatively confused as to what is, aside from the ghost characters and when we bring them on stage, what of any of what they do is improv? It's all, it's no, but if it's their ghosts, they're just really. No, no, no not the ghost. Like, everything else, they're just kind of like, hey, yeah. sometimes there's going to be improv, sometimes there's not. Yeah. But, like, what I was just baffled at, like, most of it's scripted, but then we will bring on these two characters that apparently we we just can't pin them down we can't pin them down we're not going to give them a script we're not going to give them lines whenever when they come on on stage at that point we don't know what's going to happen that is a a wild way to do a play but also it's wild when you've literally not rehearsed three days beforehand yeah so like and you're researching oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> the play wow. opens in a week and she's still doing research on the characters i I just decided, because I had all of these things like, what, there's a lot of improv in this. How do you prepare for this? And I realized that's why they haven't practiced is because <laughs> you just throw it out the window and just say whatever comes to mind. But like, s but some of it's scripted. Like the other people that they bring on stage, they have a script. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, The whole thing is... It's my la it be done. My, my it's last one, and it does move. go back to research, and I want to give a shout out to producer Aaron, already coming in clutch here. I asked Aaron this morning what she thought of this movie, and she said that the most distracting thing was her was the city of Troy. And I said, how so? And she said, everything I know about Troy is that it's the most boring city in the world. Wow. And apparently Troy has a thing called Troy Nights, where one night a month... The the town, the stores in the town stay open until 7 p.m. Oh, my gosh. And now I'm just now now the city of Troy is a wait. What like they can, are they doing this play at 3 p.m. so they can get everybody home by the, the curfew of six? I don't That's know. Like, I that she she looked it up and it's still a thing. Some stores Guys, even stay open until eight. We're uh, going to go there live from Troy. What state is it? In? New York. And, oh, yeah. We're all meeting there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So shout out to Troy. And I just thought that that was. Uh, so during the summer, they literally shut their stores down before when it's still daylight. You got to shut it down. They hate money. They're notorious for not liking money. They don't like, like money. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. shop here. We don't do this that. No. Man. Amazing. Or like maybe everybody's just like, you know, just got up really early. <laughs> yeah. When does it, when does it lift? Yeah, when do they, the stores, they open, the at stores open at yeah. 4 a.m.? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Dan? Um, they have a hot chocolate scene in this movie, and when Zane drinks his hot chocolate, there's a stick of cinnamon that jabs in his face and then just <laughs> all the way up the side of his face. I can't believe we didn't get another take. I can't believe we didn't fix it. I was uncomfortable watching this cinnamon bark try to impale him. It was it was not not good. Also, I you know, I'm not here to get upset at editing or effects departments, but when you have digital snow and Tori DeVito's walking down the street and she stops and I see an actual fly, <laughs> there's an actual bug that's mm. around her. That's tough, man, because you know that bug is only existing in warm weather, and you know Ugh. that means the rest of it doesn't exist, and you know it's bothering her, and it's like, just give her one more. Give her one more take where we get the fly out of here, and, and yeah. I hated that. Um, 
You, oh. dude, we had, we did Christmas at Pemberley Manor. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. In, With in Jessica Lowndes. A minted classic. Oh, that's kind of you. It's we did it, but we had we did the scene in the car- in the horse carriage, and there were full. I just remember we had to do take after take after take because we were covered. It was nine. It was ninety eight degrees. We were in, in our get, and there's just flies. In a, we're trying to have a romantic scene, and we were eating fl- flies. Were in our eyes and our mouth, and it was brutal. They clearly made this in Winnipeg. In I'm gonna guess and say June. Yeah. No, de- definitely. And I, I do, since you brought up Christmas at Pemberley Manor, that's our most listened to episode of all time. That's true. Uh, what? It's because it was released the day we were on Good Morning America. Yeah. And so. Oh, no, big no big deal. Yeah. So it just happened to coincide with that. But also there's a sinkhole in the middle of the town, which is a, a classic underused in your movie yeah. in, in Christmas at it's Pemberley Manor. It's a great Manor. trope. It's, it's a classic a, sinkhole. It's like there with Hot Chocolate Race. You don't see it as much as you want to see it. The old citywide sinkhole that makes you have the Christmas the water, party. The water line break. is a classic. I remember that. I, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we were in the white I, I I love that. <laughs> you sleep every night like a baby in your comfortable home with Egyptian cotton on the backs of sinkhole plots. No, he, he sleeps on a wa- he sleeps on a water bed. Admit water it, you bed. sleep on a water bed. <laughs> I do, I do have a water bed. How Absolutely. did you guys know? Absolutely. Did my assistant tell you? Yeah. Linda, did you tell them? Linda. Linda did you tell them about the water bed? Classic, Linda. Wait, can, you have, can you get big water? They keep dinging. All the the, the deposits keep going to the computer. Yeah, can you take it off there? Shut it down. Shut it down. Whatever you can do. I don't know. I'm, we're, we're live right um, now. I, I love that they could have just done in Pimberley Manor. They could have just had a water line break. But they said, no. No, no, one, will, no one will believe it. This is Jane Austen, mofos. <laughs> sinkhole. <laughs> They, they, everyone goes to the sinkhole. It's just lazy at this point. You're like, oh, the sinkhole thing. Um, I'm amazed. So uh, th- I will say this: the gingerbread, ha- the gingerbread uh, technique, is a modern marvel because we went from someone who literally couldn't read off a sheet of paper to someone who's amazing. Which Michael did say, <laughs> I I couldn't believe it. Um, it. This place seems ghost and all really boring. Like it doesn't seem like it's a full fledged play. A play? It seems like it's a one act, ten minute boy. With a closed curtain. I think that might be what it comes down to for me is I wouldn't want to watch this play. I'd be bored out of my freaking mind. Do you know out of else? my freaking mind. Do you know who else is bored? Over half the crowd. <laughs> Whenever they go to oh. the crowd for shots, no yeah. one is enamored. No one's even happy to be there. It's yeah. like they won a radio contest and were forced into watching this. Well, um, it's like you... Go ahead. The background performer who who does who does the standing O with the family. Oh, yeah. the, I don't know what in direction yeah. she was given, but it was like the Seinfeld. Are we doing this now? <laughs> <laughs> We're standing up for everyone. Oh. But and the other thing is, is but this, you could have done a combination of yes. things, right? So what if it's like part we do the courtroom and then it like that. That's that spotlight goes black open over here and we see Twas the Night Before Christmas also acted out like it keeps going back and forth somehow oh, that would be fun. You're, yeah. you're you're arguing about who wrote it you're seeing the story played out in front of you I, I just a courtroom scene of this arguing guy. something that I genuinely one didn't know was a thing that was argued about <laughs> I didn't know it and I still don't care yeah I don't care who wrote it and 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 they i don't care yeah i get it i understand you clearly don't care uh they also clearly didn't have a big auditorium but they did get one shot of a big auditorium crowd so like they have a bunch of shots of just five or six people that look like they're in the play a lot of close-ups and then occasionally they'll go to this wide shot that it may as well be off of Google Images. Like it it's gotta is, be stock. It's gotta be stock, it is right? Not in in no, Troy wishes they had an auditorium that big. Like Troy, like Troy. Well, New when York, you're only doing performances at one p.m., I, ju- I just <laughs> how can't big is that to be? A world where that auditorium. I mean, it's so the booking there is so tight. You get like the, <laughs> the amount of money they had to spend for that 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 theater. Yeah. For one night, that, that's all they could afford because they, they have massive shows coming. And Groban yeah, was in there the next night. And then Every, yeah. my last one is: Is are we to believe that this play runs? I don't know. I'm going to be generous. Forty five minutes to an hour, and then gives an intermission before the verdict. Well, so you, like, they have to. You the, sit for an hour. I get you got to tabulate debate. votes or whatever they do, but they literally sit for an hour, close the curtain for a minute. 
and th- give people an intermission and come back out for five minutes? Is that what they do? Yes. I, 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 yeah, I, I would assume so. This is wild. It is a wild world out well, there. Well, then they, um, they can have a, what's that when you appeal, right? And, they, so <laughs> and there's an appeal process. process. Yeah, yeah, they so, go to an a, a appellate judge who's also a ghost. Right. And you don't know, yeah, you don't yeah, know which way take, they're going to I mean, this could go right. all night. This could thing, go all night. So. Yeah. Well, what's thrilling to me is that brings me to our next, the, the unanswered questions here. I'm, I heard that they shot the second and third movie at the same time. And so... <laughs> <laughs> they can they follow these ghosts now for yeah. the next two Christmases. I'm so excited. I, so when I heard that, I was like, yeah. ooh, and they, ooh, they use ooh, a lot of motion capture. Number two is like almost all underwater, which is wild. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. They had to hold their breath. And we're doing a lot of, uh, yeah. so I'm just, I'm, yeah. when I was, like, that was a hook right at the very end that I didn't oh, see yeah. coming. Yeah, and that's I'm really good. Very, so, yeah. Brent, I loved your, um, oh, wait, is this something we care about? <laughs> I laughed when you said it at the synopsis. I didn't know this yeah. was something that, is debated. <laughs> <laughs> debated. It's no sinkhole in a town no. based on Jane Austen. I can tell you that right now. See, that's good. That's good <laughs> stuff right there. Did you ever on that set go, why is this a Jane Austen? Like, why are we bringing Jane Austen into the world of sinkholes? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems yeah okay this is and the, when is the single, when are we shooting the sinkhole scene okay good all right yeah um, oh is it is weather gonna be a thing we're gonna have to move the sinkhole scene to yeah, okay. yeah. yes yeah. end yes end sure um yeah. That was my Michael went out of turn with the what the hallmark, which I love. No, I like that. Yeah, that what the whole, we'll, we'll go over to Brian. Brian, I'm fast and loose here. Fast, fast and loose. Friends. We're all friends. Brian. Everyone can keep up. We know what we're doing. That's yeah. right, Brian. Yeah, where are we? What the what the homework <laughs> body? What the yeah, homework body? Nice. Uh, so the, the actually, Michael, you might have a good answer for this. So talk. Sophia, the Broadway producer, she came on stage to talk to Madison during the actual intermission. Intermission. And that's I, right. I feel like that would never ever happen. Ever is that? Does that ever happen? To to like, hey, I just want to like get in your head real fast. Yeah. And yeah. Exactly. Up. Yeah, no, that that may have been um, contrived a little bit for the sake of the story and mm. the plot. Yeah, that's um, again, that's a little bending of reality, which they yeah. didn't do much of. So I will allow. It. Yeah. yeah, between the ghost allow. and whatnot, not a lot of bending of reality. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them this gingerbread one. technique. Yeah, you got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray, did you have another with the homework, or are you good? You know, it is that it's the ghost sitting yeah. on the log at the yeah. end or wherever they are <laughs> up in the, like, on the log. <laughs> you know, up in the roof up there, they put, they, yeah, they're they on put the roof logs or... down by the lights so that yeah. the lighters. <laughs> it's the light log. Yeah, light log. The light log. They yeah. hang light. Yeah, they, they, they hang all the lights. They the, the light rack from there. Uh, yeah, when they're like, oh, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there next year. So we'll talk next year. Um, wait, <laughs> but okay. All right. All right. Um, uh, what was the other one? Yeah, I can't remember my other one. Now. I, I think that, that was my, that was my main one. Like, wait, the the sequel? Can we? This is there's room for a sequel here. And so, yeah, of course there is. Thank I'll God. show up. Yeah, um, <laughs> we did uh, during um, when it was the first time. They're like, we're, well, we'll just have to. I don't know. We'll just improv and see what happens. If like, wait, but what if they don't show up? What if the ghosts don't show up and we need them there? I don't know. Then we'll do the script as written or we'll end the race. <laughs> Without <wife>. the main witness. <laughs> my, wife, my wife went, but what about the light cues? <laughs> 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 no, you spend a week setting your light cues. Um, that's a, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, what about the light cues? In In that same vein, what was their plan? You know, typically juries have to come to a consensus. Yeah. Nine one, we did it, gang. Now Close they the <laughs> they dodged a bullet here with only one of the ghosts showing up due to some classic ghost trickery of time and space. Yeah. But if if both ghosts showed up, there was actually compelling argument on both sides. We have a we have a intermission. What happened? What was their plan? If the jury was seriously, we cannot come to a consensus on this. <laughs> Hung what jury? What, what did they do? They, yeah, we was that the plan? We started over. Did you they give him a? The did they again. give him a time limit? Was this a comeback tomorrow? We'll I, see if we can close I this feel thing out. Like in real life, if you have this thing that you're doing for a live audience, you never come back nine to one ever. Like <laughs> right. that is just not allowed. There are ten fictional people. Yeah. Why is the script written hung jury nine to one? Duh. That's how you end it. What What are you yeah. talking about? There were easily 37 people in the audience, <laughs> or, or I don't know, 50, 60. 
So lots of people didn't even weigh in. Yeah. They, so they were undecided. Bored to tears. Yeah. Yeah. Dan? Yeah. yeah. This producer, what's, what kind of scam is she running? <laughs> um, there's A, no world she's from the big city of New York and runs a Broadway. And who in their right mind would think that this had a chance? Like, who is watching this 12-minute play where sometimes the actors don't show up and go, you know what I got? I got a Broadway stage with your name on it. Move over, Hamilton. The Rogers Theater is all yours, gang, for this 12-minute history lesson where the ghost might show up. <laughs> Who is doing that? There is That was the most, uh, more than ghost, more than gingerbread technique. The most far-fetched part of this was we have an a Broadway producer in from out of town who has watched multiple rehearsals and then seen the real thing and goes, I can't wait another second. We got to get you to the big city. No, there's no world where this lines up. No. Who didn't wait till the end. Couldn't wait till curtain. No, no, no. Had to get back there. Yeah. It's like whoever all. made this movie, it, it sprung forth from their soul. Yes. They couldn't wait she another did, second. She watched all, all, all the Broadway, all the off Broadway, all the off, off Broadway, all the off, 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 off Broadway. That's and right. Then she, she's in the regional stuff now. And she, yeah, and Troy, <laughs> this is the, this, this is, is the one. It. I made it's it to the mecca me. of, of regional theater, Troy, New York. Yeah, and to watch a courtroom drama on Christmas Eve when most people are going to church. That's right. This is uh, we're, we are courtroom drama about something that we didn't know people cared about. Has to be this, done before seven p.m. Yeah. We're going to bring this to, to where go, it was like it, it was it was waiting for Guffman. On, on, on <laughs> oh my exactly. gosh! I would pay money. I uh, still yeah. just can't get over the thought the the image in my head of somebody whoever came up with the idea of this movie waking up in the middle of the night just being like, like "Who wrote? Twas the night before Christmas. Who wrote it?" Every night, heads popping off. The Three p.m. Three a.m. But hear me out. They're really ghost. How do I get the hallmark in there? Don't worry. There'll be a couch scene and a tree decorating <laughs> scene. But back to the ghosts. Who wrote it? You know, what's so ironic about the it being the most confusing part of this being the play itself is that this movie was based on a play about this. What? So it's just like, yeah. Yeah. What? There's This is a, what do you mean? Whoa. What does that mean? At the, at the beginning where they usually say story by, written by, it said based on the play and i forget that i don't know what this so play was whose titled. bright idea was wait so this is this play into a hallmark movie? wait so there's a play there's a play this is a play yeah it, yes and i was just trying to look it up but i don't know if the play is like this like a play about a play being made or if it's the actual uh court i'm looking at surely the play can't yeah. be about yeah. a play yeah. being do you hear that you need to tell me this stuff ahead of like i need to get this info ahead <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's you'd be I caught off guard. Linda's fired. Okay. I can so, feel it. All. Uh, a meta. Michael, thank you, buddy, for joining us. This was so yeah, much fun. Yeah, yeah, Do you have anything cool. you want to tell the people? Like, I don't know. You can promote something, or you can just like say something. Oh gosh, I, I um, drink your water, people. I, I encourage <laughs> you to. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I encourage you to drink your water. <laughs> Use pro um, promo code I Rady at checkout. Uh, when for you water, is that water, water, water dot you com? Your water. <laughs> no, I just, I, yeah, I don't want to plug any. No, just, just go and, and, and I hope, I wish everyone, um, I wish everyone a little bit of, of uh, a moment to slow down this season. That's my goal at least is to find a few moments to not be constantly saying next week will be a little more slow and a little more doable. I, 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 I am challenging myself to find a moment to, uh, or a few moments or, or more moments, um, than I have in the past to just pause and, um, and, uh, enjoy my family. And, uh, and I, I, uh, I wish that for everyone too. That's going to be my plug. How about that? I love it, Michael. Sorry, big water. Sorry, big water. Well, there right. I just, yeah. I just, did. I after, not. after today, we're taking 10 straight days off, Michael. So we're following uh, your rules. Following, we we even too. We canceled the hot chocolate race, which yeah. was a big decision was for tough. us. So we that was tough, we but we had to do it. We had to do it. Yeah. Uh, Michael, we love you, buddy. Thank you for joining us. This is so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Um, we have yeah. one more episode. Like. the plane when it's all done, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. please, please. Post yeah, it. We'll, we'll share it with everybody. I know they're invested. Okay. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow with the last the episode. The last episode of the season. Last movie of the year. Wow. Golly jeepers. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
yes. the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.